So now we saw that how we can customize the styles inside the element CSS and they were pretty easy. So first we use the CSS and then we define the layers for the base and for the utilities and then we customize the style. And then second thing that we saw with the customization was with the theming object that how we can customize or modify the theme. And then third thing that we saw was arbitrary values that how we can provide the dynamic values to the Tailwind CSS. So that's how we can customize all of the things inside the Tailwind. So that's how it works. So now let's see that how we can make this application responsive on all of the screen sizes. So you can see if we just move on into the inspect panel, if we just open the dimensions of the iPhone XR, so you can see this application is not responsive inside any of the screen sizes. So you can see if you open it inside the mobile device, so you can see the links are taking a lot of space. You can see the text is taking a lot of space. The images doesn't even appear good. So you can see this is not responsive at all. So we need to make this application responsive into any of these screen sizes. So if the user, so suppose if the user opens this application inside, inside like mobile device, inside a simple mobile device, and if it opens inside an iPhone XR, if it opens inside a big TV, so this application should be responsive on any of the screen size. So for that, we use the breakpoint system. So we use the breakpoint system inside that. So the breakpoint are just values of multiple screen sizes. So if it is a breakpoint, so here you can see, now we have values for the small devices. Like for the small devices, they have the minimum width of the 640 pixels. And for the medium devices, they have the minimum width of the 768 pixels. And for the large devices, they have the minimum width of 1024. The extra large comes with the 1280 pixels. And for the 2XL comes with big TVs with the 1536 pixels. So these are the values for multiple breakpoints inside any of the CSS frameworks or inside this tailwind. So you can see now we have the breakpoints for the small, for the medium, for the large, for the extra large and for the 2XL. So here these are the pre-default values. So these are the predefined values inside the tailwind which are available. So you can see, but if we just open our application, if we open this responsive design or if we open this application, so there you can see now we have the iPhone XR and there you can see now we have the width of 414 pixels. So you can see this is not responsible for the responsiveness. So you can see if we provide the styles for the small, for the medium, so this won't be applied to this application. So for that, we need to customize this styles point. So for that, you can see now we have the small devices. So we can just create another property that can be the extra small devices, which contains very small devices to the iPhone XR. So in that devices, our application will look perfectly good. So for that, you can see if we move on to the responsive design. So how can we apply these styles? So first, let's see that how we can apply these styles. So to add a utility class, so you can see to make it effect. So you need to use the property names like for the device name, like for the medium, you define the width as the 32. And for the last devices, for the last screen sizes, you can provide the width as the 48. So that's how it works. So you define different styles for the different screen sizes, like for the medium and for the large. So same works inside any other screen sizes as well. Like you can see for the medium, you have the height full, you have the width of the 48. So that's how it works. And then you can say you can work on mobile first as well. So you can say that's how it works. So you can just provide the styles for multiple screen sizes, like for the small, for the medium, for the large, for the extra large. So here you can see that's how it works. So now we can move on and there you can see now we have the values for the small, medium, large, extra, large, 2XL. But as we discussed earlier that we do not have the values for below the 640 pixel screen sizes. So how can we do that? So we can move on and we can customize the theme object once again. So we can move on into the tailwind config file. So here you can see now we are already extending the font family. We are already extending the some of the like pre-default themes of the tailwind. So now let's move on, let's define another property which is already available, which is the screens. So we can use the screens. So as we seen earlier that uh, if I open this once again, so we have the small. So with the small, we have the 640 pixels. So we can define under the screen that can be the extra small. So we can have the extra small. So that should be somewhere around, we can give the 300 pixels. So it will have the minimum width of the 300 pixels inside that. So that's how it works. But if you customize the screens, then only these screens will be available. So if you move on to the page, if you apply some styles, so you can see only the extra small will be available, not all other screen sizes. So if you're extending the theme object of the screens, then make sure you add for all of the screen sizes. So you can add these screen sizes as well, like for the small, for the medium, the large, extra large and the 2XL. 
so you can add all of these values so you can use these styles like this we have the extra small you have the small you have the medium you have the extra large so i think we have missed the large so that should be the large or i think we can have here the 1080 pixels like this and then we have the extra large and then with the two excel so these are the screens that our application will work on so now we can move on into the page and we can define some things like if we just move on into our application so let me close all other things so if i just close all other things so here we have this application so here you can see now the images are not looking good at all so if i want to say that for the small screen sizes like for the extra small screen sizes like for the iphone xr so we need the flex direction as the column so how can we do that so we can move on into the tailwind so here you can see here we have the styles so we can move on into the page and here we have provided the flex property of the display we have the justify center we have the item center we have the gap of six that should be 24 pixels so now we can just use the small property like we can have the access so you can see the access is already available there so for the access what we can do so we can have the flex we can have the column so we can have the column of the flex so we can have the flex dash we can have the call so if we save if we move on to the application so here you can see inside the extra small screen sizes so you can see now we have the flex property as the column so if we move on into the big devices as well so you can see if we move on into the large screen sizes it will be available as the column because so you are saying to the tailwind that from the extra small screen sizes the flex direction should be column but if you want different on above the medium like on the above the medium you can provide the md so that should be again you can have the flex dash row like this so if you say if you move on to the application so here you can see from the small devices from the small to medium now you will be having the flex direction as the column but for the medium to next available screen size you have the flex direction of the row so that's how it works so if we move on to the inspect panel once again so you can see for the small devices now you have so now you can see now you have the images and there you can see now you have the flex direction of the column so that's how it works and then you can use different for the small as well so you can use different from the small from the medium for the large for the extra large so everything that you can use it is available inside the tailbit config screens so now you can see now these images are looking actually these images are not looking good so we can just increase the width of these images so we can move on we can just provide some more things like for the extra small ones again like here we have the image so for the image what we can do so here we have the image width of 25 percent so what we can do so for the medium screen sizes we can use this width but for the small screen sizes for the extra small what we can do so we can have the width so that should be somewhere around we can give like 2 by 4 so that should be 2 by 4 which is the 50 percent of the width so you can see now we have the width of the 50 percent so if we save if we move on to the application so here you can see now we have the width of 50 percent with that so that's how it works so now we can move on we can make it 3 by 4 as well to increase the size once again so here you can see now the size is being increased so we can use these styles on all other images as well like this like for this as well and for this as well so that's how it works so you can see now these images are looking responsive onto any other screen sizes if we move on to the medium you can see it is still looking good if we move on to the small screen sizes it is still looking good so that's how it works so now our images are responsive so now if i want to say you that now this text should be having like we need to decrease the font size for different screen sizes so we can move on again so here you can see here we have this paragraph so now for this paragraph what we can do so here we have the width of 3 by 5 which means the width of the 60 percent so that would be enough and now we can move on so here you can see now with the text of 22 pixels so what we can do so for the medium to the all available screen sizes we can put the text of 22 pixels but we can just move on we can just point for the small as well and for the extra small what we can do so we can have the text of somewhere around we can give around 15 pixels of the text so if we save if we move on to the application so here you can see now with the text of 15 pixels if we just click that so you can see now with the font size of 15 pixels and then you can see it is looking good but once we move on after the medium screen sizes so now you can see now the text size has been increased so that's how it works inside that so you can see now it is looking perfectly fine and now we can move on we can just decrease the size of this text as well so we can move on here we have the education name so we can use same thing over there so we can use there we have the text to excel which means the font size of 24 pixels so we can just use it for the medium like for the medium we have the text to excel and for the extra small so we can have the text we can have like one excel like this so we can have the one excel 
So if we save, if we move on to the application, so you can see now the font size is smaller. So we can do this for the activities as well. So the activities, we have the text for Excel. So that should be for the medium only. And for the small, what we can do, like for the small, or we can have the extra small, we can have the text that should be would two Excel would be enough. So we can have the two Excel. So you can see now it is looking good as for the iPhone XR perspective. And now we can just decrease the spacing between them as well. So we can move on. So here you can see inside the header. So here we have the header.tsx. So here we have the navigation. Here we have the links. So here we have the gap of the six. So we can just point for the medium. That should be gap six. But for the extra small devices, the gap should be somewhere around two would be enough. So here you can see now we have lesser gap available. So you can provide gap as the one as well. So now you can see now you have very less gap between these link items. So now you can see that's how you can make everything responsive inside the Tailwind CSS. So now you can see now this application is fully responsive. If you open it into any of the devices, like you can see even in the 100%, it's looking good. Even in the 125%, it is looking good. You can open this inside the inspect. You can move on to the responsive as well. You can have the responsive. So you can see if we just move this here. So you can see once we open this inside any of the screen sizes. So that's how it works. So you can see it is fully responsive to any of the screen size available. So that's how it works inside the Tailwind and that's how we can just make any application responsive inside the Tailwind CSS.